보고 있죠. ອົງດຸລະນິບາດປະກາດມັນຕໍ່ກໍຈໍານາການນິຕິວິທິສຳນາກາໃນປະດອບປະຕິການຈຸນເຕີສະພິຍາລອງອັນຕະຈິດ And uh, I was finishing um, one of the Krang Tachan notebooks, E3-4095. Um, I'd like to refer uh, the chamber specifically to, uh, as examples, um, uh, three uh, of the uh, prisoners who appear in that notebook. At Khmer 00271094, English 0047243, French 00721234, It's the record for Kum Nim, a former teacher who had worked to help elect in Tom, one of the seven law no super traders. He had helped to elect him in the pre-1975 period. And the notes reflect that he was accused of distributing anti-revolution leaflets that said, and I quote, after liberation, we eat porridge, cook weeds, see ourselves separated from our children, have no medicine when falling ill. I will come back later uh, and address more documents um, that relate to the arrests of people who criticized, who were arrested for criticizing the regime. Second uh, prisoner I would draw your attention to in this notebook is a former law null captain named Sun Sun. His record appears at Khmer 00271100, as well as a second set of notes interrogation record at 271103-04, Khmer. English 00747253 and 747257359. French 00721223324 and also 00721228 through 30. There are two different sets of notes for this former law, law null captain. And in those notes, uh, he identified a group of 14 associates, all of whom were subsequently arrested and whose interrogation notes also appear later in this very same document. The third Um, thank you, Mr. President. Um, it um, just um, dawned on me, and specifically in relation to the discussion that we had in the chamber last Friday, uh, uh, that the notes that the prosecution uh, are referring to are coming from uh, uh, alleged prisoners in uh, uh, Krang Tacham. Um, closing order alleges that um, prisoners in Krang Tacham uh, were possibly tortured. Uh, that's true or not, uh, I will leave that uh, for another discussion. But uh, I do not see quite a difference in 
Hãy khi mình khởi lên cả phòng này đầu tiên, đã khởi ra sự bình nhã cứ an và hai chục công tế an có công lao hai thua chậm lại để miền cả một loạt lô để miền cả thua chủ động cấm possibly alleged or possible tainted torture. ในคือทางที่กำหนดให้เปรียบเปรียบความเป็นเรื่องการเอ่อเปิดเชิงการเปรียบเปรียบความเป็นเรื่องการเอ่อเปิดเชิงการเปรียบเปรียบความเป็น
ແລະອົງຍິມເລີຍກົນເພລະຊຸນເດຈະກໍມສົງມັກລາເວງ Merci, Monsieur le Président. Euh, dans la mesure où euh, l'objectif pour lequel les notes de Krang Tan Shan sont utilisées et d'établir l'identité de personnes qui ont été détenues dans ce centre de sécurité, la Chambre considère qu'il n'y a pas d'objection à un tel usage. La Chambre a aussi, bien sûr, euh, en tête la euh, question euh, concernant euh, la... plutôt en tête la décision qu'elle doit rendre concernant la question soulevée par Maître Copé vendredi dernier, et cette décision sera rendue à un stade ultérieur. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. The uh, next document uh, that I want to make uh, reference to is Krang de Chang Notebook E3-2107. E3-2107. Uh, the reference is at Khmer. 00068054 English 00290212 and French 00655731 and at these pages um, the records identify uh, two wives of law and law officers who had been arrested and sent to Krang Tachan. First, Niang Khun, a 43-year-old woman whose husband held the rank of second lieutenant, arrested and sent to Krang Tachan for refusing to take cloth provided by Ankar. The second, Lang Or, a 27-year-old woman from Takao City whose husband was in the military police, a second lieutenant, and who Ankar had arrested before she left Takao. The reasons for her detention, quote, her child was sick and swollen up and could not walk, and she had the oldest child bring rice for the sick child to eat, of quote. As this chamber uh, has seen, uh, there are a series of key documents in the April to May 1977 time period in which different communes are reporting to the district and re reiterating instructions of the party to identify and purge enemy officers or those who held ranking positions in the former regime. We have used uh, a couple of these documents with witnesses, uh, so I'll briefly touch on those, but there are a number of others um, that we have not used that I will present, and I will present all of these together. Uh, documents from the various different communes to provide a complete picture of the purge of this group in Tramcar. The first commune is Tapem commune. The document is E3-2048, E3-2048 at Khmer 00079091, English 00276564, 
French Barang zero zero six one one six six one Pramoy Moy. This document is a 28 April 1977 report from Tabem Chief Kit to stating that the commune had and I quote, examined and purged the enemies who held ranks after having received the instructions of the party, end of quote. The report continues on to say that further investigation, following further investigation, another six more with officer and official ranks had been identified, listing three first lieutenants and three second lieutenants. The next commune I will cover is Cheng Tong Commune. The document is E3-2048, E3-2048, at Khmer 00079089, English 00276562-63, and French 00611659. This is a report from Chiang Tong Commune Chief Boon to Tramcock District Anka, dated the 30th of April 1977, which states, quote, after having received successive instructions from Ankar about being vigilant about the enemy and purging the enemy officers, we have tracked, examined, and found the following persons. The report then identifies two persons, a former second lieutenant and an official from the Social Development Ministry who were being sent to the district police. The report also states in regards to the second officer, quote, his father was a map draftsman in Takao. When we liberated it, he came out to Wat Champa and our Ankar removed him. End of quote. For Ang Tasaum commune, we have document E3 slash 2435, E3 slash 2435, which is a report to District Ankar from Angtasam dated the 26th of April 1977, confirming that, quote, for those who have their ranks as first lieutenant or second lieutenant, I'm going to contact with Comrade Yorn, District Military, in order to take them out this evening right away. End of quote. And Mr. President, um, uh, I've asked my colleague to have documents ready to show on the screen. Uh, with your leave, um, he will have those available and if, uh, um, if we can from time to time show the document references as I, uh, as I mentioned them, uh, we, we would like to do that with, with your leave. Now, in relation to Ang Tassam Commune, there is also a document uh, from uh, the same commune uh, later in the year, on the 17th of November 1977. This is document E3 slash 41. 23, E3 slash 4123, at Khmer 00271044, English 00322174, and French 00623855. It states, quote, it is requested to inform 
comrade's so kit so and to contact with comrade on concerning the names so of the people who have high ranks. Ankar has uh, already decided. Uh, end of quote. The next commune is Popol Commune. The document is E3 slash 4103, E3 4103 at Khmer 001413, for those people who held a ranking position, we will send them to you one after another. One month later, in early May 1977, in document E3-2048 at Khmer 0079090, that's 0079090, English 00276, 563-264, French 00611-660. The same Commune Chief, Hubble Commune Chief Chorn, reported to the district that 106 military families, 393 people, had already been smashed by Angkor or died and the commune was screening more families to find out whether or not they are of the military personnel. Next is Nang Nang commune. And the document is E3 slash 2432, which is a report from that commune dated the 18th of April that identified 11 former law no officers from the commune, two majors, five first lieutenants, and four second lieutenants. We also have another report from that same commune, and it is E3 slash 2450, E3 slash 2450, ERN references, Khmer 00270746, English, 00322161 French 00623747 This report confirmed that three former law no lieutenants were being sent to Krang Tachan Chief on, as decided by the party because they were, quote, high-ranking. The letter expressly states that no conflicts or disputes had arisen with these three men, but, I quote, they were arrested because they were high-ranking, end of quote. The next commune for which we see these types of documents, Kus commune. The document E3 slash 2441, E3 slash 2441, ERN references, Khmer 00270934, English 00. 369 
This is a report dated 4 May 1977 from Kus Commune identifying quote, those with ranks who have been arrested and sent to the police. A first lieutenant and a second lieutenant who was also Khmer Krom from Phnom Penh. Another document from this commune from the 9th of September 1977 shows that arrests of identified law no officers continued through the year. E3 slash 2441, E3 slash 2441, ERN references Khmer 00 270 French 00 This report from Kus listed another seven law no officers, one captain, five first lieutenants, and one second lieutenant who were being sent to Ankara. Labo Commune. Document E3 slash 2423. E3 slash 2423. ERN references Khmer 0079134. English 0032221625. French 00611736. This is a June 1978 report from Labo confirming that four enemies had been arrested and sent to Prang Tachan Chief On. The four identified enemies included two Khmer Krom, who were former military, the owner of a transportation company, and a former Law Nol second lieutenant. And the report states that the four enemies were being sent pursuant to Ankar's line because the party has already decided to send them in the vote. The last commune I will cover on this subject is Kapor, Kapor Trebek commune. The document, first document, E3 slash 2050, E3 slash 2050, ERN, Khmer 000, English 00276576 French 00858041 Your honors this document is a report to the district dated the 6th of May 1977, and it is from the Kapot Trebek Commune Chief Cham, who has been identified as the brother of Tama. The report states, quote, regarding those with former ranks and positions in the Kapor Trebek subdistrict base, their names are as follows. The report then identifies a captain, first lieutenant, a second lieutenant, and a corporal. 
Your Honors, the names of two of the former law and law officers in that report, Keet Kham and Kong Boran, appear in a list of Krang Tachan prisoners who were executed two weeks later on the 22nd of May, 1977. That execution list is document E3 slash 4145, E3 4145 at Khmer ERM 00066737, English 00762845, French 00761101. The two law no officers who had been reported by Tamak's brother, the chief of the commune, are numbers 22 and 23 in that list. While we are looking at this execution list from Kran to Chan, number 22, I'm sorry, number 29 on the 22 May 1977 execution list was a 27-year-old former law and captain named Kong Seng. He had been reported by Kus Commune one week earlier, in document E3-2441, E3-2441, at Khmer 00270-936, that's 270-936, English 00369-466, French 00611-740. One month later, in a 13 June 1977 report to the district party, which is document E3-2052, E3-2052, Kapoor Trebek Commune Chief Cham identified 10 former military from Phnom Penh, including a first lieutenant, and requested to hand them over to Ankar. And in response to this report, District Chief Kit wrote a note to Krang Tachan Chairman On that appears on the document, instructing as follows, quote, Regarding the ten traders that the Pork Trebek subdistrict sent in yesterday, propose, comrade, interrogate harshly and thoroughly interrogate to find all of their network, end of quote. Your Honours, I will uh, end uh, the presentation on this subject with document E3-4166, E3-4166, a document that shows the knowledge and implementation of this policy by the Krang Tachan Chief and the Tramcock District Secretary. E3-4166 is a 25 August 1977 report from Prison Chief On regarding the confessions of three former law no officers, a first lieutenant and two warrant officers. And after describing how these three former ranking officers were against the cooperative because they worked restlessly and were not happy 
with the labor they had to perform. On says the following. I quote. Moreover, these three contemptible persons were ranking officers that shall shall be brought in. And your honors, um, uh, last night I noticed there is a difference between the English and French interpretations of the sentence. So I've asked my colleague to read the Khmer original of the sentence so that that is part of the record uh, here today. បាទសូមអរគុណលោកប្រធានខ្ញុំនឹងអានឯកសារបាយលើសាយ Your Honours, in response to this report from Crank, just a request for clarification, uh, Mr. President. I didn't quite catch the, the difference in, in translation between the French and the English. And it was a free translation of, of, the, of the Khmer, so I'm, I'm a bit confused as to what you are saying now that, it, that this particular sentence says. Uh, Council, I wanted the Khmer original simply read into the record so it's part of the record. Um, we'll have to deal with the translation issue uh, later. Um, for your reference, the, there's a difference. The difference in the French translation without me um, uh, speaking French is that it makes uh, a reference, specific reference to the arrests being pursuant to the plan of Ankar. So that is that is the uh, interpretation the issue with respect to the Khmer original. Your Honours, in response to this August 1977 report from Krang Chan, Chief On, uh, two days later, the District Secretary Kit conveyed the following instruction, which appears in a handwritten note at the bottom of the document. Quote, As to these three traitors, the party decided to have them smashed, end of quote. The next group of documents I will present today relates to the treatment and targeting of new people in Chamkok district. First, uh, document E3-4120, E3-4120, ERN references Khmer 00270-982-983, through English 00322-175-1, French 00623-344. This document is a report from Srey Renong Commune Chief Kung, dated the 4th of January 1977, which is addressed to the party's organization of District 105 and it identifies a new person, Peach Savan, who was being arrested and sent to security for interrogation because he had chased ducks into the rice fields to eat rice. The important part of this report is at the conclusion where Sri Renong Commune Chief Khun states the following, quote, I would like 
to make it clear to the party that concerning the new people, there are still many others who are opposing Ankar and the party. Thus, I will arrest them and send them up successively. End of quote. Your Honours, um, this new person who had chased ducks into the rice field um, was arrested and sent to Krang Tachan, and there are interrogation notes uh, for him in Krang Tachan notebook E3-2107, E3-2107 at Khmer 00068-06-2107. English 00290-231-332 and French 00655-746. Next, in Krang Tachan notebook E3-4095, E3 4095 year end references Khmer 00 271 106 French 00 7213234 There is a prisoner Named Kao Kun, a 44 year old father of two from Takmao, who previously worked as a driver transporting rice from Battenbang to Phnom Penh, and who had been relocated to Nang Nang commune in Trampak district. The notes state that. Commune Ankar had assigned a local villager named Meng to disguise as a new person like him and chat with him. And Mr. Kao Hun was arrested and sent to Krang Chan because during that conversation he said the following, quote, I've come only with my physical appearance while my mind remains in Phnom Penh. Nowadays, how come you're boasting of the liberation? All of our children have died. And how come you're boasting of progress? The progress is actually non-existent. End of quote. Next, in Krang Tachan notebook E3-2107, E3-2107, year end references, Khmer 00068064, English 00290229, and French 00655-744-745. Through These notes identify a prisoner named Sok Liang, a 17 April person who had returned from Phnom Penh to Sri Renong Khamer. And the notes state, quote, Ankar assigned him to carry water to put in the rice fields in December with 12 people, both old and new people among them. When the water source was almost gone, they began catching the fish, throwing the water onto a hill and into the rice field, just thinking about getting the fish. 
Subdistrict Ankar, Brother Kun. This is a reference to Kun, who was the Sri Renang commune chief. Saw this and asked what village they were from. And he said, I hate these new people. Have them carry water to irrigate the rice, and they throw it onto a hill instead. And then he walked away. The group then said, make a mistake, and they criticize only the new people. They don't say anything to the old people. Later, the village Ankar held a meeting and re-educated him on the above matter, and he said, there is no need to re-educate me. I know it already. He is dissatisfied with our revolution. The next uh, last document on the subject of new people um, is document E3-4164, E3-4164. This is a document that is actually relevant to a number of issues. It is a list of 29 prisoners titled Brief Biographies of Prisoners at Tramcock District, District Education Office. The list includes the prisoner's name, age, sex, village, commune and district, their position or occupation, their spouse's name, whether they were base or 17 April people, the date of arrival, and the alleged offenses. Your Honours, of the 29 prisoners on this list, 21 were 17 April people, 6 were base people, and 2 were cadres, 2 female medics who have come up during this trial. 18 prisoners were male, 11 female. The stated reasons for imprisonment include six people who were imprisoned for planning to flee to Vietnam, four who criticized the revolution, refused to work, or failed to respect or follow the party line, two who committed adultery, seven accused of stealing, three whose offense was being a cruel administrator in the former regime, two who were implicated in the responses of other detainees, and a commune chief from District 108 who was accused of being in the organizational network of the UN. And in this uh, document, 11 of the 29 prisoners are identified as former Lano military, and another, who is number 11 on the list, uh, was the son of a former Lano captain, who the list expressly indicates had been smashed. Your Honours, the next group of documents I will present are some examples that relate to people who were arrested for opposing or criticizing the revolution, for opposing or criticizing the party or Ankar. In Krangtachan Notebook E3, 4095, E3 slash 4095, year end references, Khmer 00271131, English 00747, 
0028 French 00721-271-272. There is identified a former teacher named Long Nom who was arrested and detained at Krang Tachan for trying to organize a group of people to, quote, demand the return of spouses and children who have disappeared, to complain about food shortage, and to require that schools be reopened. In the same notebook, at year end, Khmer 00271-113, French 0071-244-245, English 00747-2201, Identifies a prisoner named Kat Pia, who was part of a group that wore insignia or hats bearing the portrait of Samdak U, King Father Sienu. And prisoner Heng Norn. Hang Norn at Khmer 00271-130, English 0047-297, French 0071-270. Was detained at Krang Tachan because he confessed to disliking the current revolution. In notebook E3 2107, E3 2107, year end reference, Khmer 0006802. English 00290226, French 00655742, records the detention of a 79-year-old man, a 79-year-old man named Chao Tit a former officer born in Vietnam whose alleged offense was criticizing the revolution. Specifically, quote, he said that the revolution bragged that it was the people's land, the people's state authority, but in fact it was Ankar's. When re-instructed, he said they were not allowed to eat in private but in Vietnam, there was land, houses, and rice, and they allowed private work and used money, not like here, end of quote. And in notebook D157.7, D157.7, year end references, Khmer 00, Two seven zero eight five five English zero zero eight six six four two four French zero zero eight seven two seven nine nine. There is identified a prisoner named New Mom a new person who worked in the woman's gathering unit 
who was arrested and sent to Prang to Chan for saying the following, quote, she cannot live in this kind of dirty society where there is only water lily and pumpkin soup to eat. There is no delicious food to eat. The regime does not use money. People wear only one set of clothes which have a bad smell. When we questioned her about what she had said, she answered that she did not have a firm stance. She just did not like the revolution." End of quote. Next document, E3 slash 2448, E3 slash 2448, Khmer, URN 0007910, English 0032215. Seven French zero zero five eight eight seven eight four. Your Honours, this document is a report from Trapian Tom North Commune to the District Ankar, dated the ninth of September. 1977, and it reports two youths who had been arrested for saying that the Khmer Rouge won the war because the USA had ceased to drop bombs and that they had won the war because of student protests in the international community. Krang Tachan Prisoner list E3 slash 4083. E3 slash 4083. Khmer ERN 000 68036. English 00 French 00 This Krang Tachan prisoner list identifies four female prisoners, numbers 24 through 27 on the list, who were sent to Krang Tachan for the following alleged offense. Quote, the four traitorous women had broken cooperative spoons in order to destroy the cooperative and make it become private again. End of quote. Mr. Pre President, let me just end this section um, and before we move. Um, I have one last quote um, related to this subject. Um, it is from uh, the uh, Henri Locard report on Trancoc um, that my colleague presented part of earlier this morning. And that is, uh, for the record, D313 slash 1.2.16. Uh, the Khmer reference 00739046, English 00217701, French 00743760. And Henri Locard was writing here regarding the alleged faults committed by people who were brought to Krang Tachan. And he stated, quote, on balance, they are either trivial, the theft of food, for instance, or more serious, plans for poisoning, but they are mostly political grudges against the regime. Most of the accused had the courage to express their utter dislike of the revolutionary society. 
and he states that of the 477 records he reviewed, only three detainees would have been taken to court in a civilized society, end of quote. At this point, I would move on to another subject, Mr. President. Um, so Um, Mr. President, I have a request uh, for the trial chamber to consider during the break and also uh, a request that to which the parties uh, in the courtroom um, can develop their thoughts. Um, in light of the, the revised schedule this week, uh, we wonder whether it might be more useful to have um, our comments and objections on the various presentations moved to Thursday rather than have it on Wednesday. That allows us to uh, develop arguments um, uh, more profoundly than that we would have to do right now, um, or basically to tonight or, or tomorrow. Um, because the witness is not scheduled, as, as we all know, uh, if we move com comments and objections to Thursday, we would, ha we would have uh, a whole Wednesday uh, to prepare more thoroughly uh, for this. So that, is, that will be our request. And uh, maybe at one point we can have a discussion on this. Just a related question. I understand you wish to raise certain issues, some of them you have identified. But if you first raise additional ones on Thursday, how are other parties supposed to to prepare? No, or can you identify the issues? We will have our presentation tomorrow. Uh, and then the other parties can react on it on Thursday, uh, like we can uh, on Thursday reacting on them. So we will all have one day extra, basically. So all parties would have one day extra to, to provide their comments on the various presentations. That, that would be the idea. Because um, obviously we have our presentation tomorrow, the prosecution uh, wants to react uh, on what we are saying, they will have an extra day, and so will civil parties, they will have an extra day uh, to comment. That, that will be um, our suggestion. Uh, I'll be brief. I, I have no preference whether we do it on Wednesday or Thursday, so I'll leave that to the, to the chamber's discussion. We'll be ready to proceed either Wednesday or Thursday, as, as you decide. Merci, Monsieur le Président. A priori, pas de. Pas de préférence pour l'un ou l'autre jour. Juste une petite requête. Pour mieux comprendre l'organisation de cette audience, sera-t-il donné euh, occasion aux parties de réagir aux observations de la partie adverse Par exemple, si la défense fait des observations sur les éléments que nous apportons, aurons-nous la possibilité d'éclairer la Chambre et de donner euh, réponse aux observations de la défense, juste pour que nous puissions nous, nous organiser aussi en préparation de de la partie réservée à la réponse sur la présentation des pièces par les autres parties. I'm still a bit confused on what you actually want to do on Thursday. Uh, you, are always, you seem to indicate that a round of replies and responses to replies or whatever, which isn't forcing currently. Is, is that correct? It just whatever we're doing on Wednesday, move it to Thursday. Sorry, you don't want to sit on Wednesday. You want to sit on Thursday instead. Yes. บ่าวคุณไอ้มนต์นึงสําหรับไอ้ตรงนี้ออกจําแนกสมจํารีบจุนพระพิกี้เปียปอนนึ่งดาวมดังรัฐประวณีสุดสั่งอย่างยู้บ่มพดตรำทางไอตีมุ้ยไข่อุสภีชนามปีปอดดับรำบาดเลนี้ดอลเปลสำหรับไงตรองเ
ສໍາລະຈັບປີນີ້ເຕີລະຫົດດໍມາຫມួយສາມເຕີນຕີຣັດສຊຽນນີ້ສົມເຈີຍຈົນເວັ່ງໃນບັນຕໍກິດຈ